It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Looking at the Lakers, coming into tonight, a couple of goals they have. Stay aggressive on both ends, but also play with efficiency. It's a delicate balance, but they know it's the key to playing their best ball. And a moment to talk about an interesting progression in technology. In the future, fans could customize their viewing experiences. Uh, everything from on-screen information to game commentary. Whoa. That- 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The week is starting off right, Monday night, and 2K Sports presents the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Bulls start out with the ball. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Jordan is out there with John Paxson. Then there's Pippen. Then there's Grant, and it's Cartwright in at the five down low. Paxson against Johnson. Back to Jordan. Outside for Pippen. Clock is at three. From outside the arc, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside worthy. It's tipped. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's Perkins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, you know, some call him Sleepy Sam. Others, the big smooth. Perkins may never be a true superstar, but he contributes in almost every facet of the game. First trip to the line for him here. Taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Maxson kicks to Pippen. Grant surveying the D. Passes to Jordan. Shoots over Scott. Knocked loose. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but. Good execution. Just didn't knock it down. But you're right. They're happy with that shot. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Perkins against Pippen. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. An emphatic LU jam. No doubt about the brilliance of Jordan as a player. Outstanding at knowing when to go get that alley oop. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover had it, giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Magic knocks it down. He shot 52% from the field in his years with the Lakers. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling, Craig. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring. Kept alive. Here's Cartwright, no stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Vladi Divac. The Bulls shooting their first free throw of the game right now. The 
size of Cartwright is intimidating, not to mention those sharp elbows of his. I mean, he's a long, big man who has a very unorthodox release on his shot, but quite effective with it, too. Good ball movement, wonderful pass. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Here's the pass to Paxson. He kicks it to Pippen. There's the dish to Grant. And Devons pulls it down. Scott against Jordan. Chicago on defense. It's a three-point game. Pass to Johnson. Two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Again, Los Angeles. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Puts it up from 17. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Here's Johnson, and the Lakers check on two more. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start? Yeah, he's setting himself up to be their go-to guy today. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Then for the Bulls, who comes in for Bill Carton. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. Basket good. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence the in the paint. The, the other thing they've had going Good for shot. them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Johnson against Armstrong. Grant outside. Kicks it to Pippen. And a wide open look for Jordan. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Jordan's got seven points in the game. Lakers leading by five. Johnson surveying the floor. On the wing, Scott. Six to shoot. Here's Thompson. That's tipped. But they'll get another chance. A second chance effort. Scott can't get it to go. Boy, the defense had gone to sleep, so you got to knock that one down. No good from Jordan. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with the Bulls head coach. 
I asked him what he thought might give them an edge in this game. He said shot blocking. To be able to protect the rim really is invaluable, and it's one of the things that shuts us apart. We'll see if they can lock down the paint tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks for the report, David. So their focus, guys, is going to be on defense right away. And that's always a good uh, gentlemen, philosophy. Two don't, shots. don't let an opponent two get shots. settled. Try to take them out of their game early. And, you know, that's all about energy. Coming out with fresh legs and putting a lot of effort into the defense. That's good from Scott. And, you know, when you look at Byron Scott and then add in the way he plays, really a pure shooting guard in every sense. Los Angeles making a switch here. Drew's checked in. King's checked in for the Bulls. Livingston comes in for Michael Jordan. And he can't hit the second. Bulls trail by six. Here's Pippen. From down in the low post, it goes. Pippen's got his first two points of the night. And here's the Lakers. There's 117 left to play in the first. Down low. And it's Pippen slamming it down. Way to punch it, Scotty Pippen. The athleticism. Impressive. Here's Drew. He's covered by Armstrong. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Eldon Campbell. He's checked in for the Lakers. And Chicago also making a switch. John Paxson. He's checked in for Purdue. And here is Los Angeles now. Worthy the pass to Campbell. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Pass to Livingston. Shoots over Worthy. Here's King. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. The Lakers in the lead. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. James Worthy on the way. Back to Scott. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Green. Here's Drew. Rebound by the Bulls. Outside Pippen. Over to the wing. There's the three. Here's Levingston. He nails it. And we're tied up. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss. And you got to get to the glass with intensity. Right back after this break. already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, I like it too. They're doing a great job working the ball around, staying aggressive and capitalizing too. Here's Drew. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And now brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for Chicago right now, they've got B.J. Armstrong. Pippen is out there with Livingston. That's John Paxson. And it's King at the five roaming the paint. Here's Pippen following the score by James Worthy. Outside for Pippen. Over Scott. That one wide left. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. A three-pointer off the mark. Chicago trailing here. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. And it's Armstrong missing. Here's Drew. On 
the money from 12 feet away. And it's a four-point Laker lead. Now Pippen. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Armstrong. The offensive rebound. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. Bulls ball. Chicago keeps possession. The Lakers making a switch here. Perkins has checked in. Puts it up from 15. Armstrong. It's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And there's the pass to Worthy. Got a piece of it. Takes the 13-footer and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Here's Drew to the inside. Here's Scott, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Livingston. Down low. Boom. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Adi Divac checked in for Campbell. And it's Johnson in for Byron Scott. Then for the Bulls. Grant comes in for Livingston. And it's Jordan in for Paxson. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Johnson against Armstrong. Poked away and stolen by Jordan. Shoots from the high post. Armstrong gets the bucket. Armstrong's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. And, you know, that's a second foul early in this quarter. I think he's got to be much more cautious in how he defends now. Purdue, he's checked in for Kent. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Johnson dishes to Worthy. Perkins on top. Shot clock at five. On deep. Moves back up. Shots good by Divac. And the Lakers lead by one. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Perkins against Grant. Outside Pippen. He's checked in for Sam Perkins. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. From about 19 feet, another one falls for Chicago. After going scoreless in the first, He's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. Johnson against Armstrong. The putback and three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Chicago leading outside Pippen. Inside, snatched away. Here we go, one on one. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. One of the most feared, versatile scorers at that forward position. Big game James always seems to make the most out of any situation. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Early on, guys, excellent work on the boards here. I mean, you've got to like two those shots. second chance points they're getting. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. And the first one drops. 
Chicago making a switch here. Hartwright's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Jordan. Seven points in the game. He kicks it to Armstrong. Here's Cartwright. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pippen, the pass to Cartwright. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got his third assist on the night. Johnson against Armstrong. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. One ten left in the first half of basketball. To the inside, and the jam by Bill Cartwright. A beautiful pass that time from MJ. 59 seconds left to play in the first half. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Yeah, just hitting a reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. Yeah, recalibration time with the timeout call there. Six seconds left here in the second. Nice shot by Worthy. Yeah, he's building off that strong first quarter, Kevin. Rising up and hitting shots with confidence. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Pass to Kirk. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Over Drew. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Cartwright. Jordan's got the lead up to three now for the Bulls. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, it feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. Here's Worthy. Not going to go that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Passes it to Purdue. Michael Jordan on the wing. Five on the clock. Kicks to Armstrong. The three. Johnson with the clock. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson well used and suited for the shot tonight. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's Chicago leading by three. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They never got too far behind as their largest deficit in the period was eight. They battled hard in the second quarter, and it was reflected on the scoreboard. 
And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball game. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, they remind me of Arizona. They were flat defensively. They didn't collapse at the end. They allowed over 50% shooting. I expect them to come out much more aggressive in the second half and try to take the lead early on. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You gotta like what Magic Johnson has done in this game. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. And, you know, Greg, I like how they've set the pace. There's a lot of time left in this one, so there's no rush. You don't have to go 70 miles an hour. Keep it at about 45. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Lakers trail by three. Devots is out there with Perkins. And there's Byron Scott. Then it's Worthy. And it's Johnson in at the one. That's the Laker five. Now here's Devots. Outside, Scott. And the pass to Perkins over Jordan. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. Getting his hands up to block shots. To the middle. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Outside Pippen. Shot clock at six. The Lakers with the rebound. Worthy kicks to Scott and stolen by Jordan. To the middle. It's stolen by Devox. Jordan against Scott. Pass to Devox. Shoots over Cartwright. And all are trying to run that time before dropping in. Devox has got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Lakers. Jordan inside, defended by Scott. Grant. Here's Cartwright, and he uses the glass on the layup. Cartwright's got nine points. Maybe with that, the lid on this basket will be lifted for him. To the middle, here's Devox. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Time called here, the Bulls decide to talk it over. Chicago also making a switch. Kings checked in. Poke loose. And stolen by Scott. For the lead. And it falls over the rim and in. He's got five. That's three of four here to start the half. Pass to Grant. 
back to Pippen. Jordan against Scott. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 11 points. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. Here's Perkins. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shot down. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Throw drops for Perkins. Levinson's jumped in for Chicago. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Paxson. No points in the game yet for him. Passes to Livingston. Shot on the wing. That misses off the backboard. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Johnson kicks it over to Worthy. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Lakers lead by three. Kevin, I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. Here's Livingston. Here's Jordan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Byron Scott picks one up. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about two. coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. He throw good, Jordan. For some, he is the GOAT. Michael Jordan, greatest of all time, legend, arguably the best player of all time. That's a debate for another time, but the epitome of greatness is for sure. Campbell, he's checked in for the Lakers. And Chicago also making a switch. Armstrong's checked in. And so Jordan nails both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. On the wing, Scott. Back to Johnson. He dishes it to Scott. From outside the arc, they get it back. Can't convert the two-handed jam. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. Outside, Green. Johnson against Paxson. Johnson down low, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. The Lakers making a switch here. Thompson's checked in, and a change for the Bulls. Purdue is checked in for King. Johnson against Paxson. Outside Jordan. Here's Livingston. And again, no good by Chicago. The Lakers in the lead. Johnson kicks to Scott. We've got 128 left in the third. Armstrong against Johnson. Over Armstrong. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Yeah, and you know, Johnson gets it done anywhere on the floor, Kevin, as a scorer. I mean, but he's especially potent from the mid-range area. Now here's Jordan. 13 points in the game. 58 seconds left in the third quarter. Purdue, no luck. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning 
to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range, extended out nicely, and definitely bothered the shot. Here's Johnson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Evans has checked in for Los Angeles. Drew comes in for Worthy. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for the Bulls. That's good from Johnson. Boy, the court awareness of Magic Johnson, coupled with his 6'9 side, make him as unique a point guard as we've ever seen, who does everything for this team. Kicks it to Jordan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Byron Scott picks one up. The Bulls shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. So Jordan nails both of them. Lakers leading by four. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Johnson kicks to Scott. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Scott's got five points in the quarter. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. And I really think this is the time to do it because this is a real important juncture in the ball game right here. Outside Jordan, three-pointer, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Bulls trail by seven. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. They've got Michael Jordan. Grant is out there with Pippen. And there's Cartwright, and it's Paxson in at the point. Now here's Pippen. Grant outside. Lock at six. From deep three-point range. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Perkins is checked in for Green. Sam Perkins. Los Angeles leading by seven. Johnson outside. He kicks it to Worthy. Perkins trying to break loose. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Johnson with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Jordan. Hits the outside fadeaway. And, and he's been the key for their offense with the way he shot the basketball. Yeah, he's most certainly not the reason they're in the hole. I mean, his percentage has been outstanding.
fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Defense the Bulls. They trail by seven. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. And also, their mid-range game has been impressive. A, a tough shot to rely upon, but they really had it going tonight. And he makes the first. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. And so Perkins nails both of them. Bulls trail by nine. Jordan finds Grant. Back to Jordan. The ball's not loose. The pass to Cook. No good from Grant. And that's solid defense. Rock solid. Contesting without fouling. Well done. And Magic Johnson with the slam. And that's just more for Magic. And, and for all of his unselfish ways, if he wanted to, this guy could probably score like this on a nightly basis. Chicago calls timeout. You gotta like what Magic Johnson has done in this game. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Up with our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team. He got on him. He said he's got to see more intensity. He said we put ourselves in this hole and we've got to work our way out of it. Show me you've got what it takes, guys. The shot's good from Jordan. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Los Angeles calls timeout. about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. He lobs up the alley pass and stolen by Jordan. Paxson against Johnson. Paxson passes to Jordan. 
That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Got to give Jordan credit there. I mean, he's got a knack for making tough shots in the paint. Now here's Johnson. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. That's good offense. The shot didn't go down, but they'll live with that. The shot's good by Pippen. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Los Angeles leading by four. Johnson outside. Here's d -Bots. That one goes. Count it. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Maxson against Johnson. Grant outside. Jordan inside. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. Johnson against Maxson. Shot from six. And again, it's the Lakers. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Pass to Jordan. Over Scott. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Jordan. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. Now, here's Scott. They get a hand on it, and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Perkins down low. Grant on him. No good from Perkins. And not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Inside. Maxson passes to Jordan. He's off on that one. Some solid defense from Johnson. For the Eagles, Pippen. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Pippen. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Paxson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And he's the consummate professional. I mean, Paxson knows his role. Obviously, a knockdown shooter, but he gives great effort in everything he does on the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First, and that narrows the lead down to just three. No free throws, good from Paxson. And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. On the wing, Johnson. Over Paxson. And the basket by Johnson. Johnson's got 20. Big shot maker. When the game heats up, so does Matt. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by four. 121 left in the fourth quarter.
Jordan player of the game, Magic Johnson. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Now here's Jordan. Shoots over Scott for right. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got four assists in the game. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Johnson. Hooked away. Pippen with it. Johnson outside. And that's collected by Grant. And the defense that time was late. And you got to feel fortunate he didn't put that one away. Jordan trying to free himself up. <laughs> that is cold blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing him deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. And the Lakers call time here. The score nodded at 60. 44 seconds left in the game. Chicago. Here's Pippen. Yes! Yeah, Pippen, a fantastic defender and knows when to pounce on passing lanes to come up with the steals. Watch out. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Scott kicks to Johnson. Over Paxson. It's good! A huge shot to tie it up. And this is where you see the magic in Irvin Johnson. An incredible performer in the clutch. Passes it to Jordan. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trailing by two. There's 18 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. seconds left in the fourth. Jordan against Scott. Kicks it to Johnson. To force OT. And he hits the shot. But hang on guys. Hold everything. The officials may review it here. And the last shot is going to be reviewed. Ruled originally a basket. We'll see if it gets overturned, which would end the game. However, if it is ruled good, we'll be heading to overtime. 
And, and, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock's still ticking when it left his fingertips. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll return shortly. set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. It's been a nice playing game, huh? And it's Chicago to start out. And no shortage of excitement here, and we're officially underway in overtime in this game. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here, brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Lakers. We've got Green. Scott is out there with Magic Johnson. Then it's Worthy. And it's Divac in at the five. Here's Jordan. And that one hits back out. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. And boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. You're exactly right, Greg. I mean, with the way it looks, what we have to hope for now is that somehow it's not a long-term issue. Brown is checked in for the Lakers. Lakers trail. The pass to Worthy. Pippen with the steal. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Teardrop shot. The shot's good from Paxson. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. On the wing, Johnson. Hits the jump hook. Johnson's got 26 points. Got himself into a really good position there. Can't pass that shot up, guys. We're just over a minute into overtime here. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. This free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. The Lakers making a switch here. Miller's checked in. Second one is good. In both at the line, it's a four-point ball game. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much writing. And here's Johnson outside. The long range bomb from Magic Johnson. And in the league, Magic was an average shooter at best. But has worked extremely hard to improve that facet of his game. Paxson gets the pick. Pass to Paxson. Jordan up top, covered by Miller. 
Let's it go from 11. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got four this quarter. Nobody more clutched than Jordan. When the game is on the line, he thumbs up large for his team. Here's Johnson again, Los Angeles. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, I tell you what, Greg, what can they do? I mean, nobody can miss a shot. I mean, these guys are bringing it on offense right now. Mr. Cook. Six to shoot. Here's Jordan. It's good. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. No room for them to make a mistake here. You got to almost play perfect from here on out. Johnson shot is off. That's one he knows he should have drained. We can probably expose. The high flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. Here's Johnson. It falls. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Jordan against Miller. Outside Jordan. To the left side wing. Releases. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by three. Just two seconds left in overtime. Guys, what do you think? And they need a three to tie. But, but look, they've got enough time here to find a good look. They can run a play off the inbounds, make sure they get it in the hands of their best shooter. to get a three if we're trying to get yet another overtime. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for them in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.